Hey guys, all right, so in today's vlog, I wanna talk a little bit about peace and how peace actually affects your auric field. I also wanna talk about our culture of fear and how some people, most people actually, I would say a good 90% of people are so used to their ego and so used to fear that when peace comes through them, like they either experience, we either experience um, pain in this life, like we're so used to latching onto our pain and that's why our body actually develops disease. It's through the stress of the pain that we hold on to for so long. Um, or we're used to like, we want these extreme, we dream of these extreme levels of happiness. So like the balance in between of these two is peace. Where you have perfect health is when you can maintain a level of peace and appreciate and enjoy the peace. And But what a lot of people will do, even when they're in their ex extreme happiness, it releases endorphins, right? So it's a little bit different than a, a, a state of when you're in like constant peace. And what, when I say constant peace, what I mean is you take deeper breaths. Your nervous system slows down. It's really interesting when people don't have these extremes of fear, ego, pain, or even happiness. If it's extreme happiness, that is also the ego. So when they're not in control, when the ego's not in control and they come to this middle point of peacefulness and genuine happiness, people start becoming afraid. They start to feel like, oh my God, what's wrong? Because they're so not used to taking the deep breaths, enjoying the present moment, that they actually fear it. And today, I want to just, I want people to recognize that. I'd like to bring awareness to that. And the reason I want to do it is because being in a constant state of peace, so I would say I'm good. Like now, I do not wake up in fear. I do not go into go to bed in fear anymore. I have noticed this shift of enjoying more peace in my life. And, and there's something that happens when you can be at peace in your life, even 50-50. It started with me, obviously, the same as everybody else, way more fear. And I wanted to give myself, I love structure. I love structure. I'm a number four, 22-4 in numerology. That's my life path number, so I love structure. And what I gave myself was numbers. So I would measure my happiness, my pain, and I would give it, okay, today's, it's it's like, uh, I don't know, 20, like 20, 80, 20, 80% fear, 20% happy I was throughout the day. And what I started noticing with meditation, remember I do meditate, I do mantras, as uh, my meditations got better, I started realizing, oh wow, my state of happiness is elevating. And then once I got to that 50-50, where throughout my day I was 50-50, um, it started coming to a level of peace because I was getting comfortable with being happy. Weird, right? So once I attain the state of peace, then the rise happened quicker. I went, I would say I'm like, I don't know, I'm like 80 to 90% peace in, in a day. Usually I wake up in peace, like I said, I go to bed in peace. And here's what happens with that peace in the last like, um, five months or so, I have, I've just felt like something's changing and I don't I didn't know what it was until today um I could feel like the peace inside me was bigger and things were changing in my life so when I began to feel that a mantra came to me to reduce fear what I would say and I highly recommend that you try this what I would say is when fear would strike that 10% or that 20% day depending on the moon cycle or my own body cycles whenever that fear would strike I started saying don't judge the moment something great is about to happen don't judge the moment a miracle is about to happen. Whenever fear would sneak in or I'd feel anxious, that's what I'd say to myself. I would say, don't judge the moment. 
a miracle is happening. So I started saying is about to happen. Now for the last three weeks, I've been saying is happening. A miracle is happening. And I realized what that miracle is. That miracle, because I'm more at peace now, is your auric fields are healing. So the cosmic so cosmic consciousness, consciousness from the universe actually begins to heal your aura. So we don't just have this physical body. We have many different layers of our aura. Um, Eckhart Tolle calls it um, our pain bodies, right? And what happens in time, like if you hold on to a lot of pain, what happens to our auric field is it shifts. It'll, you'll start experiencing, if you've gone through like major tragedy or trauma or you hold on to pain for so long, you're gonna start getting little piercings in your auric field, in your pain body. And when you start coming to a level of peace and you change your consciousness, you change your awareness and you shift it consciously to more happiness and you feel different you begin to feel different that is when what's happening is that cosmic consciousness is healing your aura so there's those tears that you have in your aura or piercings in your aura from pain in your life that you've been experienced or past pains from past lifetimes your karma that's been carried forward is healing. You are healing your karma. You are healing your auric fields. That is what ha what's happening when you come from a place of peace. And it starts with an auric cleansing. And the cleansing is the universe is watching you. God is watching you in a sense of like, okay, how much is she cleansing it? Is it, is it, is it 70-30? Are you 70% unhappy, 30% happy? Are you consciously moving to 50-50? As you're moving, it's a, there's a sweeping cleansing that's happening around your auric field. And once you get to the, I feel like the tipping point is that 80% of peace, consciously, you consciously give yourself and your body peace. My, it, my experience is that that is when the cosmos will jump in. That's when your aura starts healing. That is also when you start elevating to the next dimension. So we're on the third dimension. You start um, tapping into that fourth dimension. And the fourth dimension is all beings of love. It's there. There is no more ego in the fourth dimension. It's all beings of love. So. That's just my little tidbit on what you're actually doing when you attain balance. Not too much happy, because that can be ego, not, not pain all the time, but you're in this level balance of peace, basically. I hope that makes sense. Love you guys. Bye.